Hello, my name is Neda Kevani. I'm a master's student in mechatronics engineering at KNTC University of Technology, and I'm going to present my mechatronics final project. This project is a ball tracker robot that is done by combination of MATLAB code and Simscape model in real time. This project shows you how to use MATLAB to process image captured from webcam to track a blue ball and generate some signal that can control to DC motor. In this video, at first I am going to talk about the outline of the project. Then I will explain the MATLAB code that processes capture image. In the next step, I am going to talk about the Cinescape model. And at the end of this video, I will run the project and we will see the results that I have been looking for. So, in this project, we have a webcam that captures image from other environment, and the blue object that are in a circle shape detect by the program we wrote. Then, the results that are generated by this program can control a model in Simulink and Simscape environment. This model consists of two DC motors whose speed is controlled by the signals generated by our program. Let's talk about more about how this ball tracker robot works. We receive images from the webcam. These images are divided into three modes based on the position of the ball in the image. The first mode is when the ball is placed to the right of the image. In this case, the robot must move to the right. For this purpose, the speed of the right motor should be minimum and the speed of the left motor should be maximum value. If the ball is seen on the left side of the image, the speed of the motor should be opposite to the first mode. The speed of the left motor should be minimum and the speed of the right motor should be maximum. And if the ball is in the center of the image and the area of the ball is smaller than the defined value, it means that the ball is far from the robot. So, the robot must move straight and the speed of the both motors must be maximum. And if the area of the ball is more than the defined value, this indicates that the ball is close to the robot. So, the robot must stop and therefore the speed of the both motors must be minimum. And finally, the ball may not be visible in the image, so the robot must stop. Now, let's continue in MATLAB. So, you need to install OS Generic Video Interface to start writing the program. To install this support package, open Add-ons, get hardware support package, and select Install from Internet, then click on Next. Make sure you have internet connection. Now you can see different packages that you can install and use them. The package we need is OS Generic Video Interface, which is installed on my MATLAB. If you don't have this package on your MATLAB, you can choose it and click on the next to follow the installation steps. Let's explain more about the program we wrote. In the first step, an object is created for the webcam and necessary settings such as type, resolution and brightness of the image are made. Then the object created start working. In the second step, the blue ball must be identified. In order to do this, a structure element is created for this type with radius of 50 that removes objects that are not like a ball. We also use some filters to determine the blue pixel in the image. In the third step, the area and position of the identified ball must be determined. 
For this purpose, the structures created that include the center and area of the identified objects. By the values of these two parameters, the movement pattern of the robot can be determined. Let's run the program and see the results. In the camera window, you will see the video recording rate, which is an appropriate value. We don't currently see any blue balls in the image. But now you see the ball in the center and at a close distance. As you can see in the camera window, the robot must be stopped. Now I keep the ball away from the webcam. Here you can see that the robot must move forward. You can also see the results correctly for the right and left side. And now we are going to use the results of the image processing to control 2D C motors in CMSCAPE environment. So stay with me. Let's look at our CMSCAPE model. You see an electromechanical system that serves as an example of multi domain CMSCAPE model. Here we have an electrical system on the left and a mechanical system on the right. And we have two DC motors that convert electrical energy to mechanical rotational energy. DC motor is an example for a multi-domain block that is powered by a battery pack here. Let's open battery subsystem and take a look at it. Here we can see 12 cells inside the battery pack, each of which is connected in series and is a subsystem by itself. Let's double click on one of them. We see that each one of them is an equivalent circuit model for a real battery pack. So let's go top level of the model. Controlling the speed of the DC motor is an important problem. One approach to controlling the speed of the DC motor is would be to add a potentiometer to the line between the battery and the DC motor. However, this would lead to a rapid drain on the battery. Instead, we use a PWM controller. The PWM subsystem here receives various DOT cycle value as input, and then modulated the battery voltage as falls to a load. In this case, a DC motor. The duty cycle input is provided by constant block here. Notice that this value is between 0 and 1. 0 means 0% duty cycle and 1 means 100% duty cycle. Let's take a look at PWM top system. Here we use the control PWM voltage block. This block is from the SIM Electronics library that converts duty cycle control input to pulses of varying pitch. Let's double click on this block to understand uh, its parameters better. Frequency, delay, and offset control the output pulse parameters. 
The next two voltage parameters determine that voltage value signifies zero and maximum DC cycle. The other parameters here are used to uh, control the model accuracy and execution speed. For our example, let's leave it at the default values. Select OK and and let's go back to top level of the model. In the following, we have a mechanical part that consists of gearbox, a rotational damper, and an ideal rotational motion sensor to measure the angular velocity at the output of the gearbox. At the end, we have a multi-body model that is controlled by angular position part of the ideal rotational motion sensor. Now we have a Simescape model and uh, we have a program that has been discussed before. We should transfer the result of the program to our Simescape model in real time. And this is done by uh, set prom uh, command. This command set the parameter to specified value on the specified model or block object during a simulation run. Now we are uh, going to use the set prom command to set a constant value parameter to our desirable value. We had uh, two constant uh, block here, uh, one related to the left motor and one for the right motor. So let's start and see how to use this command. Here we can start, set underline param. Okay. Uh, at first, uh, we should uh, write the name of the model, that is btr, slash, then the name of the block, left constant, and the uh, parameter name, that is value, and then the value of this parameter, 0, and we have to do the same for the right constant. PTR again, slash, right constant. value again and zero. Let's copy this two line and paste in other parts. Here, when the ball is on the left side and the value of the right constant must be one and we should Paste here 2 and the value of the both constant must be 1 and at the end uh, when the ball is on the right side and the value of the left constant must be 1 and it's better to set the, our parameters to 0 here now our program is complete let's go ahead and run the project at first let's simulate the model Then run the program. Uh, 
Okay. Now uh, let's take a look at the output of the scope, which is shows the angular velocity of the motors. As you can see, the velocity of the motors are zero because we, we don't have any blue ball in the image. And now you can see that the velocity of the both motors have reached the maximum value. I will put the ball closer. And you can see that uh, the velocity of the motors are zero. And you can see the result for the Y. In this case, the velocity of the left motor has reached the maximum value, and the velocity of the right motor is zero. And you can see the result for the left. Okay, uh, now let's take a look at uh, our model in multi-body environment. Now pay attention to the movement of the wheel. Now you can see the two wheels uh, are starting to move and uh, when the ball is at a close distance we don't see any motion and uh, for the right and left side you can see the results uh, correctly i hope this project helps you thank you for your attention